Good morning, dear students. Welcome back to our online class. So today we'll continue with the time management which we were discussed in the previous video. We have seen what is time. What do you mean by time management? And we have seen that definition of the time management refers to managing the time effectively and so that right time is allocated. And we have seen the different why do we need the time and we have also seen like um, what are the methods that we have to use uh, for using the time effectively then how to use the time effectively and we have also seen that effective planning and some methods are necessary so today we will be seeing the what are the important process of the time management and how it starts okay so the main important process it is classified into different sections you know um cost your time you know first we have to know that how much time we have to spend for each our work okay we have to make a list of that then making activity goals activity goals here is like a classification that you will be making on prioritizing and dividing the time okay so let us go that into detail uh, then setting the goal goal setting means your the ultimate goal immediate goal in that sense and for all these you need a proper planning and for you need a proper prioritization of the things which are to be done right now could be kept for a couple of hours later or could be done at the end of the day or end of the week or end of the month etc like prioritizing and scheduling the time accordingly okay so these things are very important that we have to uh, manage when we are uh, you know doing the time management okay so now let us see one by one what do you mean by the cost management that is the cost your time how you will be costing your time okay so next we will be seeing uh, this understand your true value by calculating your cost per year now when you say costing your time means what you are actually doing you are understanding the true value by calculating your cost per year cost per year means for example like if you are taking in the you know money terms it will be easy for you to understand salary plus taxes plus you know office space office equipment profit your generate etc now calculate your hourly rate cost per year work per year so actually this will make us to understand that where do we literally stand okay that is what is our right position and where we what we have achieved so far how much time energy we have spent and what is left with us okay so you know this type of you know cost setting actually comes after some years like uh, being for example in your student life you have spent almost around 10 years so you will be understanding that this 10 years what is the output or does the time i have given okay most of the children you know by the 10 years uh, they if they have sufficiently and efficiently spent their time they might come to know about the great personalities if they have come across good number of books their language of speaking might be fluent if they had the habit of continuously speaking in english or any language which you prefer okay then you will be improving your vocabulary then you will be learning certain skills by this uh, age of 14 and 15 where you need not every time go and concern somebody or to make you to teach isn't it okay so uh, and after 15 uh, like after 10 year 15 years you have come to this and again after plus five years you put some goals and aims that after five years i'll be able to do so and so things and if you practice that then you will be after 20 25 years you will come to analyze what you have achieved what you have input and what was the output that you have got etc okay so that is what you uh, mean by costing your time okay so you know um our generation actually doesn't have this kind of you know foreseeing the things of costing our time 
like uh, by 23 24 you will be you know settle you will be entering into a job and um, started working if your goal settings were timely done before that otherwise in 23 24 years all the people will be running from one area to another in search of the job okay those who are very skilled very efficient and follow the things very properly and have the goal setting earlier then what they will do by 24 25 they will be having a good investment they will be having a house of their own they will be well settled in life already settled in their get settled in their life and um here after that the life runs very smooth otherwise if you don't have any proper planning and costing of the time then you might be continuing keeping on struggling to another you know 10 years of your life or maybe more than that okay so costing your time in the earlier age itself uh, means a lot and brings a lot of difference now next is making activity logs now what do you mean by activity logs or how you will be making an activity log now it actually helps in make a realistic estimate of the time spent during the day on job order so if you are working if you are working in a firm or an institution or an organization what you have to do is that you can estimate your time estimation means evaluating your time how much time i'll be spending for this work and even in your job time also you might come across different types of work profiles isn't it so you or ill being a student you come across the different uh, um, work like reading writing drawing okay or uh, making something okay so different uh, things will be so you have to you know uh, estimate the time how much time i spend for my reading how much i spend for my writing how much i spend for learning okay or preparing notes so or like how much i spend in drawing or other skills like whatever it's related so it's like you know estimating your time how much time i spend for my easy subjects which i can understand easily in one or two reading and how much time i spend for my difficult subjects where i had to pay more time and more attention so you are actually estimating that then pinpoint the critical areas time spent on low value jobs now certain low value means not uh, easily you can finish it off and for that you don't need uh, much of the time okay so then finding the high yielding time of your day which is the high yielding time means the most uh, you know certain uh, things you can't do at the end of the day right you can you can't keep aside for example you know doing yoga or like uh, going uh, doing workout and the best time for all these things is a uh, early morning time so at the end of the day you keep it already after a whole day's work you will get tired and again at the end of the day you keep these type of activities you won't be able to give your best okay you won't be getting yielding the best results okay so that is what actually uh, mean by yielding your time okay then next we will see uh what is that goal setting now what do you mean by goal setting here goal setting again here refers to setting of a goal okay setting lifetime goal helps us to chart your life course and your career path okay it actually you are making a chart of that where you will be setting your goal my i'm in class 10 now my next goal is my class 11th and 12th so what option subjects i have to opt what is my career path which subject i'll be opting and which it will lead to which career path okay like that setting up and how much time i have to spend two years two years is the time you are spending there and so if you want to do any additional you know um extra uh, coaching classes for preparation of neat iit or something else or cas etc or ca then you will be how much time you will be separating for that so you are charting out the things then break up your lifetime goal into smaller goals you know this is what i said is a long term goal so you just break up into smaller goals where you can quickly achieve like for example like every weekend i'll go for the coaching classes of neat or something else like that okay so weekend is your small term goal where friday and saturday and sunday you will keep aside for that or like saturday and again weekend you will be keeping for in learning something new that you are interested like you know uh, any musical instrument or um, 
doing something else different or you know interested in social work going and joining some ngo and doing something there so those are small term goals that you keep aside okay then make a daily to do list when this is very important to everyone not only for the students even for uh, the teachers housewife employees or even the people at the home the elders okay to do list is very important and everyone can so like you know every day you are not bound to do the same type of work okay so to do list will be helping you to you know prioritize you know to divide your works and complete your works on time okay so revise and update your list on daily basis and judge your performance this is very important at the end of the day you have to check out that the to do list which you have made how much of that to do list you have done okay and how much of the to do list that you have you were not able to complete and if you were not able to complete what is the reason and noting down the reason and try to you know um follow that okay what actually made you not to complete that task you might have overslept or like uh, you felt yourself little bit lethargic or like you had uh, to go for some other work which was unexpected and you were your your work left out pending there so you know they you just jot down the reason and try to judge uh, your performance and give a rating for yourself like you know we have ratings today for everything so give a rating for yourself out of 5 how much i achieved as based on that how many percentage of your um, achievement you have received so based on that you just uh, give a rating for yourself then you will come to know that what is your uh, performance level and what is your judgment uh, level okay and then you can understand that have you justified your to your to do list or not okay the next comes is the planning okay planning is very important so you have to draw an action plan a list of the things that need to be done okay to achieve your goals what is comes in your planning okay uh so this is very important again planning you have to do then we have come to the prioritizing now what do you mean by prioritize means giving importance to the works okay make a, in and in prioritizing also you know sometimes you can add and you can subtract certain things when you make your to do list consider the value of the task before you do it it is worth spending your time and company resources for example you know meeting of the friends that i can if it is not important every day what is the purpose of meeting the friends and simply spending your time on the um, nooks and corners of your place there is no worth in that okay so and you don't have anything every day to talk to them or tell to them so you just make that meeting like um, alternate days or two days or three days so you whatever your work you will be left out you will be able to finish in that time okay then prioritize your tasking is that the most important job should be completed first keep this in your mind okay when we are talking about the prioritizing of our work that means that the most important job that we are doing should be completed first okay and followed by the other other works okay then we will be this is what you come under the prioritizing okay then we will be discussing about uh, the next is that scheduling okay you know what do you mean by scheduling is that to make a realistic estimate that how much you can do you know it's not possible we all are not perfect we all are not superman or superwoman so it is very important that you schedule your work okay so you and when you schedule your work don't think that i will complete all these work today itself okay so you take a realistic approach you know your capability you know that how much you can do and how much you can accomplish in a particular day of your uh, time okay so you plan to make the best use of the available time that time if following is very very important what you have made you have to follow it if you don't follow it then there is no purpose of all these things which you have done okay so preserve some contingency time to deal with unexpected jobs okay sometimes you know it comes that what you didn't expect sometimes you know suppose unexpectedly guests come 
okay and tomorrow you are having examination and uh, you cannot you know say the guest that please don't come to my house it's not proper but and you have to like couple of hours or you have to spend with them okay and at the so that two hours you actually missed which you kept for your study time right so or suppose if it is related to the mothers at home they might have kept that two hours and for some other work but unexpectedly guests came and they have to entertain and their work left out there okay so um preserve some contingency time to deal with unexpected jobs okay that unexpected type of works if it comes then what should i do how could i do sometimes we more focus on the hard work and sometimes along with the hard work smart works can also make much difference then minimize stress by avoiding over commitment by yourself you know some people are very very commitment freaks um like we have commitment mania cleanly mania we have we call the people like you know they don't tolerate little bit of pick and span so some people are very very commitment freaks okay so they um, don't think that oh I, if i have not done this uh, something seriously going to op happen to me and taking all the stress on their head okay so by taking the stress itself you know you will not be able to complete the job properly in the further time which is available to you okay so it is better not to uh, make yourself a commitment freak okay so these are the important uh, things that you have to keep when you manage the time so uh, achieve your goals by make time management as your tool for success and this is the right time that you have to um, you know be your own judge and your own motivator that's what i would like to conclude with so thank you for watching me and i hope that you understood the points which we have discussed related to the effective time management